Isaiah 58, the Living Bible. Shout with the voice of a trumpet blast. Tell my people of their sins. Yet they act so pious. They come to the temple every day and are so delighted to hear the reading of my laws, just as though they would obey them just as though they don't despise the commandments of their God. How anxious they are to worship correctly. Oh, how they love the temple services. We have fasted before you, they say. Why aren't you impressed? Why don't you see our sacrifices? Why don't you hear our prayers? We have done much penance and you don't even notice it. I'll tell you why. Because you are living in evil pleasure. Even while you are fasting, you keep right on oppressing your workers. Look, what good is fasting when you keep on fighting and quarreling? This kind of fasting will never get you anywhere with me. Is this what I want? This doing of penance and bowing like reeds in the wind, putting on sackcloth and covering yourselves with ashes? Is this what you call fasting? No, the kind of fast I want is that you stop oppressing those who work for you and treat them fairly. Give them what they earn. I want you to share your food with the hungry and bring right into your homes those who are helpless, poor, and destitute. Clothe those who are cold and don't hide from relatives who need your help. If you do these things, God will shed his own glorious light upon you. He will heal you your godliness will lead you forward. Goodness will be a shield before you, and the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. Then, when you call, the Lord will answer. Yes, I am here, he will quickly reply. All you need do is stop oppressing the weak and stop making false accusations and spreading vicious rumors. Feed the hungry, help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out from the darkness, and the darkness around you shall be bright as day. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy you with all good things and keep you healthy too. And you will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Your sons will rebuild the long deserted ruins of your cities and you will be known as the people who rebuild their walls and cities. If you keep the Sabbath day holy, not having your own fun and business on that day, but enjoying the Sabbath, speaking of it with delight as the Lord's holy day, and honoring the Lord in what you do, not following your own desires and pleasure, nor talking idly, then the Lord will be your delight and I will see to it that you ride high and get your full share of the blessings I promised to Jacob, your father. The Lord has spoken.